which you guys got another video do this to fix any windows update problem today i'm going to show you how to fix the most common windows update problems uh, with this particular script that i've got here i'll leave a link in the video description so you can download it and use it if you do have a windows update issue now these can be error codes for windows updates maybe it's stuck and it's not downloading updates anymore or maybe the windows update components are corrupted and you need to fix them or empty out the windows updates cache so you can then uh, download updates from Microsoft and get it working again. I'm going to show you how to fix all of this with a couple of simple steps. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro keys, then check out the links in the video description to get a 30% discount if you use my promo code. First off, head over to CD Key Sales and create an account and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order. And then you can check out using PayPal and you will get a 30% discount. They will then send you the key and you can head over and remove that annoying watermark inside Windows. So let's get back to the tutorial. So you can see here, Microsoft have a web page to show you how to reset the Windows updates components either manually or you can use a batch file. I'll leave a link in the video description for it so you can download it and you can then run it as administrator on your PC and it will basically run through a bunch of different things to uh, fix the Windows updates uh, components. You can see here there's a bunch of different distribution folders where Windows updates are stored and some of these are just get jammed up or they get corrupted and you need to remove these and this batch file will do all of that for you. You can see a bunch of DLL files getting re-registered there and also it will reset your network and then it will restart all of the update service. And hopefully once you've done all of this, you should be able to use your Windows updates and it should work perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So first off, let's go into search here and I'll show you the troubleshooting tool. Now, a lot of people always recommend using this tool. I've personally never had no success with these. As I've always said in my videos, these are sort of the first sort of steps that you can take to try to fix a lot of uh, Windows issues. Unfortunately, I've never had much use with any of the troubleshooting tools on Windows to fix any problems. So if you've had any success with any of these tools, then let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to read your comments to see whether any of these troubleshooting tools have actually fixed anything on your PC. So next up, what you can do is we're gonna run that batch file to save you running all of these commands manually one at a time. So I'm going to edit this file here so you can see here. And this file was created uh, by a gentleman. I'll leave the link in the video description for the script where you can uh, download this. And it's quite complex. It does a bunch of different stuff. I've had a good look at it and it does quite a good job uh, uh, giving you some options like these ones right here where you can reset the Windows com update components and so on. So what we're going to do here is right click on this and we're going to run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control, and you should see a blue prompt box popping up here. Let me expand this out so you can see it better. Say yes to continue here, and this tool will reset all the Windows updates components. So you've got a bunch of different uh, commands here from 1 to 20 where we can use all of these to try and fix our PC to get it updating Windows again. So you can run these in any order that you like, but let's just go through some of the ones that are pretty useful to you, which is reset the Windows update components. This is all of those commands that you see on Microsoft's website. When you run this, it's gonna basically go off and do a bunch of these commands in a batch file so you don't have to type them all out manually. It's gonna go off and stop the Windows update service, and it's gonna go ahead and uh, stop a lot of other services, and then basically gonna rename some files and folders inside there and then it will restart the services again and uh, this will obviously then create a brand new uh, folder for the software distribution so basically what this is going to do is and it's going to reset the windsock here and do a bunch of other stuff so once you run these uh, what this will do is this will clear out any sort of corrupted files and there's a bunch of other commands we can run after this so let's go back and push enter here and down on the list here, you can see there's some other stuff that we can run. Number three, deleting all the temporary files. And you can see how fast this script works. So it's done all of that. We can move on to another option here. Just go ahead and do the next option in the list, what we can do. And this will be useful. Number six, 
So let's go ahead and we'll do number six here. So you can see the process is starting and this is your SFC scan now. And it's gonna run a scan on your system to see if you've got any corrupt files, any corrupt operating system files, and it will then check the integrity of them and then fix them. So that's another good uh, thing to do. We can also do a scan of the image for the component store corruption. So we go ahead and run that as well. And you can see it's just gonna go off and do a quick scan. Now we'll speed these process up so it doesn't take too long, but it normally has to get to 100% and it will tell you whether it's completed successfully. And that should now be finished. So let's quickly speed this up. And you can see no component store corruption was detected. That's a good sign. So let's move on to another one here, which is we can probably do this one right here. Number eight, check whether the image as flagged as corrupted. So let's go ahead and run that there. And that's now been completed and successfully uh, run a scan. Let's try number 10 here, cleans up the superseded uh, components here. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one here, number 10, and run this. And again, this will run a scan. It does need to get to 100%. So I'll speed this up a little bit. And once this is done, we can see what else there is to run on this system. Now you don't have to run all of these. You can run whatever you need to run to try and fix the components of your Windows updates. And once that's done, you can then restart the system and hopefully a lot of these will fix your problems on your computer. I've had quite good success with running uh, scripts uh, fixing Windows updates on my PCs in the past. So I'll leave a link down below and you can run a test and let me know whether this fixes your issues. And that's now done and successfully completed. So let's go ahead and do another one, which is we'll probably do number 11 here. And uh, let's just push enter to get back to the main menu. And we'll do number 11, which deletes any incorrect registry values. It's gonna make a backup of your registry and store it in that location there. So that's made a full backup. And then once it's done that, it's gonna run its uh, a scan on the PC. You can see here, the operation uh, completed successfully here which is good. So we can now let that finish off. And what we'll do is we'll go back to the main menu and take a look and see what else we can run here. So you see the operation has now completed. We can now click on the any key to continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and push enter. And this should take us back to the main menu. So we'll probably do number 12 next and we'll take a look. That repairs and resets the windsock settings. This is your internet. So if you've got any issues there, this will fix and reset all of those. And there's also one, which is number 13, which forces the group policy updates. So if you've got any sort of uh, group policy settings there that are set in place, this will also reset those as well. And you can see there's a bunch of other ones on here which are quite useful for you if you've got other issues. So let me go ahead and we'll do one more here and then we can restart the PC and we'll uh, see whether this uh, fixes the issue. And you can see it's reset all of the internet windsock there. That's all now done. And what we can do now is what we'll do is we'll do a quick restart of the PC. I can type 20 here to restart the PC. I'm going to do this manually and close this off and then we'll restart the system. Now, if you're still having issues after you've run a lot of these tools here and it's not working still, then you may need to start thinking about running a repair install of your system or an in-place upgrade, or you can run the reset this PC uh, tool that's built into Windows and hopefully once that's done it should work. If it doesn't work then you may have other more complex issues with your PC and you may need to take it either to a computer repair shop or do a clean install of Windows. Obviously that means backing up all your data and stuff like that but hopefully this will fix a lot of your issues. If you want to drop on our Discord server you can always pop on there and ask questions on there and we'll do our best to help you out over there. And uh, let's have a quick look at the Windows updates here. I'm gonna to go to settings, and now we're gonna to go to Windows updates. And there we go, it's checking for updates, and hopefully that will start to come down, and it will hopefully work. You can see here, updates available to download, and there we go, I can hit download. And this will then start downloading them, and hopefully installing these and get it all up and running. So that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can repair your Windows updates on Windows 10 and Windows 11 or older versions of Windows using this batch file is really useful uh, for people that have got Windows update issues. Now remember, if you're running an old obsolete 
end of life version of windows whether it be windows 10 or windows 11 you need to probably do a fresh install of the latest version of windows because sometimes having an out of date version will not allow you to update to the latest version of windows and you can end up in some sort of issue there with that anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall catch you in the next one bye for now Thank you.